The basic algebra skills are necessary when we work with equations and are extremely important because every bit of math you do after you learn these skills will usually require you to remember these skills and use them again and again. The goal of algebra is to get the variable, in this case the x, isolated. I want my x alone on one side of the equals. I need to move any numbers that are with the x to the other side. Let's look at the first example which is addition. Here our x has a 4 with it. The 4 is being added to the x. How do I get the 4 away from the x so that the x can be alone? What I do is I do the opposite of adding 4. If 4 is being added to the x, I subtract a 4 because these 4's will now cancel. But the rule of algebra is if I'm subtracting a 4 from the left, I have to subtract the 4 from the right as well. Whatever I do on the left side of the equals, I have to do on the right side as well. These cancel. My x is now alone, which is what I wanted, and is equal to 12 minus 4, which is 8. I have my answer. Subtraction. Here my x is having a 4 subtracted from it. The opposite of subtraction is addition, so I add a 4 to that side. But what I do on one side I have to do on the other, so I'm also adding a 4 on the right side. These cancel. My x is isolated and is equal to 12 plus 4, which is 16. I have my answer. Multiplication. Here the x is being multiplied by a 4. And the opposite of multiplication is division. So I have to divide that side by a 4. But if I'm going to divide the left side by a 4, I also have to divide the right side by a 4. These cancel. My x is isolated and is equal to 12 divided by 4, which is 3. I have my answer. Here, I have division. My x is being divided by a 4. And the opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply the left side of the equation by a 4, which means I have to multiply the right side of the equation by a 4 as well. These cancel. My x is alone. And 12 times 4 is 48. I have my answer. These are the four basic skills that go with the four basic operations in algebra. Here are some special cases in algebra. Looking at this example, I can see that my variable x is part of an algebraic expression, which is the numerator of what I call a giant fraction. How do we deal with a giant fraction? We use the same skills that we already know. The algebraic expression that contains my x is being divided by a 4. So we do the opposite and we multiply both sides by 4. These cancel. And all that's left on the left side is the x plus 2, which is equal to 28. Now we can go back to the regular skills that we know. We want to move that 2 to the other side, so we write x plus 2 minus 2 equals 28 minus 2. We subtract the 2 from both sides, which is the opposite of this addition of a 2 to my x. These cancel. My x is isolated, and it's equal to 28 minus 2, which is 26. Here we have an equation that has a bracket, and the bracket is being multiplied by a 3. We have to know how to deal with this bracket. What we have to do is realize that this 3 is being multiplied by everything that's inside of the bracket. So we can get rid of the bracket by multiplying the 3 by each of the terms inside the bracket one at a time. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 7 is minus 21. A positive times a negative is a negative. Now we're back to our regular algebra. We want to get this minus 21 away from our x, so we write 3x minus 21 plus 21 equals 6 plus 21. We add a 21 to both sides, and that allows us to cancel these 21s. We have 3x equals 6 plus 21, which is 27. And now our x is being multiplied by a 3, so we divide both sides by a 3. 
B is cancel, X is equal to 27 divided by 3, which is 9. Here we have a long, complex equation, which has two brackets, each of which are being multiplied, and there's a minus sign before. When you have a minus sign before a multiplication of a bracket, you have to be careful of the signs. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x, and minus 2 times positive 3 is minus 6. It seems like the plus turned into a minus here. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x, and minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3. Now, we no longer have the brackets or the multiplications. What we have is a series of terms in x or in numbers that can be combined. x minus 2x minus 3x combines to minus 4x, and minus 6 plus 3 combines to minus 3. At this point, we're back to the same set of skills that we've been working on all along. We got rid of the giant brackets and we combined our similar terms. I'm not going to finish this because I have run out of space, but now you know how to deal with a long expression like this, and you know how to deal with a situation where a negative number is being multiplied by a bracket.